The first verse talks about Article 1 of the U.S. Constitution. So the first three lines we'll take a look at are, in Article 1, we build a fancy legislature of two-house bicameral nature. So basically, again, we're talking about Article 1 of the Constitution, and it designs and outlines the powers of the legislative branch of the U.S. government. So uh, we build a fancy legislature, so the legislature is the legislative branch, also known as Congress, of two-house bicameral nature. A bicameral legislature means that the legislature has two houses. In the United States, we have the House of Representatives and the Senate. So we have a bicameral legislature. So here, here's how we're going to uh, uh, illustrate the first three lines here. All right, in Article 1, we build a fancy legislature. Our legislature is fairly fancy. It's, it's progressive. So we build a fancy legislature of two house bicameral nature. So we're building two houses here. We've got the House of Representatives and we've got the Senate. So it's a bicameral legislature. And then we go through some of the powers that are outlined in Article 1 for the legislature. To control the budget, levy taxes and know that only Congress can declare war. The House and Senate work together to make laws. They're an elastic power catch-all. All right, so we got a couple, the, kind of the key powers of, of Congress, of the legislature, to control the budget, so they decide on spending. Levy taxes, which is collecting money from the people, that only Congress, or, and then Congress can, is the only one who can declare war, so they vote on de actually declaring war. They, the House and Senate work together to make laws, so the main function of the legislature is to create the laws for the country. So the, the two houses work together to create laws, and then they're an elastic power catch-all. So through the necessary and proper clause, Congress has the ability to uh, pass any laws that are necessary and proper for 2012, and that might be different than what was necessary and proper for, you know, 1900. Uh, so it allows Congress some flexibility in passing laws that make sense for today. All right, so here's how we're going to illustrate this part. So we do our two house bicameral nature, and then control the budget. So we're going to have a cash register here. Control the budget, door opens, money gets spent. Levy taxes, we're taking taxes and we're putting it into the drawer. And then only Congress can declare war. I have a little gun here that we're taking, taking to war. Congress can declare war. And then the House and Senate, so we go back to our House and Senate here. The House and Senate work together to make laws, as if we have a law in between here that these, these two, this bicameral legislature has worked on. We have a law here. And then they're an elastic power catch-all. So they, can, they have flexibility in the laws that they create. So we're an elastic power catch-all. Good. And then the last part, is talking about some of the checks and balances that Congress has. So Congress can impeach the president, so it has checks and balances over the executive branch, which we'll talk about in a minute, or they can impeach judges, which is a checks and, ba it's checks and balances over the, the judicial branch. So basically impeaching means they can regulate and remove pre a president or a judge um, if they're doing bad things. So they can have hearings and decide, well, that president did something that was illegal, so we're going to find them guilty, impeach them, and then they can remove the, the president or judges for doing illegal activities. And then, so they impeach the president, judges elected, checks and balances, we've seen them all. So it's talking about the checks and balances that the Congress has over the other branches of government. So here's how we're going to illustrate that. So we just did the elastic power catch-all. They can impeach the president, so we're gonna, you know, we're the legis we're the Congress. We're we're gonna point at the uh, point at the president and like you're out of here. We can impeach the president. You're you're guilty. You're out of here. Or judges elected. You two judges, we found you guilty. You're impeached and you're removed. And then checks and balances. We've seen them all because between the three branches of government, we need checks and balances. So not one branch is all powerful. So they have checks and balances over each other. All right, let's try this whole thing slowly. So here we go. In Article 1, we build a fancy legislature of two house bicameral nature to control the budget, levy taxes, 
and know that only Congress can declare war. The House and Senate work together to make laws. They're an elastic power catch-all. They can impeach the president or judges elected. Checks and balances, we've seen them all. All right, let's try it with the music. In Article 1, we build a fancy legislature of two house by cameral nature to control the budget, levy taxes, and know that only Congress can declare a war. The House and Senate work together to make laws. They're an elastic power catch all. They can impeach the president or judges elect. Checks and balances, we've seen them all. All, all. Good, let's try it one more time. In Article 1, we build a fancy legislature of two house by cameral nature to control the budget, levy taxes, and know that only Congress can declare a war. The House and Senate work together to make laws. They're an elastic power catch all. They can impeach the president or judges elect. Checks and balances, we've seen them all. Oh, oh. The preamble says the power. So that is the first verse.